go after opening the tableau uh, you can see that we have the connect so we can connect different types of uh, data so now we'll be using the excel file again so click on excel and we will use the long term unemployment statistics open okay here we go so we have the long term unemployment statistics now this is the sheet one so just click over here to check what are the different variables that we have in this data set okay so we can see age group uh, then gender period and unemployment so different age groups we have uh, 16 to 19 uh, we have the gender whether uh, the person is women or men and the period and unemployment so we want to analyze this time series data actually this is uh, this data is for different years you can see so it starts on from 2005 and ends on 2015 so we have more than 10 years data so we will analyze the unemployment the time series analysis of the unemployment data over the years and we will uh, also show how to filter uh, based on gender okay now let's go to the sheet so we can see here uh, the first one is let's use the period okay so this is the period and now we want to see the monthly okay this is see that every year we have 12 months actually yeah here we can see and now let's see the unemployment one see whenever you are dragging a measure from here on to the rows you can see that it is always using the sum function meaning it is the aggregate one okay so this is the sum function so let's use the average one the, almost the same thing average is also a uh, sum function because we are uh, what we do uh, we actually add all the uh, values and divide the values by the number okay so this is also a sum so let's use the sum again so this one so this is actually small pieces of information that we can have and uh, so aggregated data we have and if we want to get rid of this aggregation so what we can do just click on analysis then just get rid of this one meaning uncheck aggregate measures okay this is what we can see uh, if we if we don't want to see the uh, aggregation say so this is actually granular data okay we can see this one and now uh, let's go again to the uh, to the aggregate measures okay and now let's see this one let me, uh, let's filter this one uh, by gender so let's take the gender and drag it on the color okay see here we can see that the this one is for women and this one is for men okay and here are the labels so drag it over here so click over here so just see them uh, see the data for women and click over here and just see the data uh, for men okay and we can also do the analysis by age group so uh, okay see that this is a uh, different uh, age group so this line is for the 16 to 19 years old okay this is the amount of unemployment mean number of unemployment over the years so we can see and uh, we can use the label and if we want to use the label then we can just track the A's and drag it on the label okay and let's use the area okay now it's much better viewable so you can see that um, this one is uh, 65 years and over 
okay this one is 55 to 64 so this way I explain when and so this one is 16 to 19 years old and uh, this is a nice car actually we have a very good view this one looks very beautiful uh, okay and uh, let's get a read of this okay and let's go back to the line again and now what we can do we can use the age from here and then go to the detail no it's not showing anything but okay you can also use different types of uh, line different line types and here you can use the shape as well see that uh, this is a different one and let's uh, fit up this one by gender let's use the color so this is this is actually there are a lot of values over here and this one is different one and uh, let's get rid of the age from here and now we can see the different dots these are the uh, for women so this is how we can also table the data see that and uh, again let's uh, filter this one use the age uh, color okay this one is really good mm. and then let's change the mark so let's copy this one and then if we use the line only so this is how we can present the data so this and uh, how about age if we use yeah oh, this one is uh, based on age not uh, by age group but this one is based on gender okay so this is how we can present the data so uh, to copy so before copying uh, we should rename so unemployment uh, analysis okay so the unemployment analysis so this is the name and just right click click uh, format title so what we can do we can use different background colors and the border if we want to use the border okay this one is good to me and okay so and now right click then copy image okay so copy and let's go to the word file so this is how we can present and let's use another one so by A's okay and let's use the area mm -hmm. and use the label for age so let's copy this one and export as an image so in that case what we can do see this is an aggregate data okay so double click and okay this I think uh, this one looks better wow, for me uh, this one okay this one is also better so you can also change this uh, the format uh, different types okay if you want uh, if you want to change this one this is and uh, you can also use different colors see that how uh, what are the different colors uh, I like this one okay this is how we analyze the time series data okay i hope you got it so see you in the next section